not. So you're in survival, mining, exploring, dying, but suddenly you're in the need for cake. Not one cake, not two cakes, but unlimited cake. Hey, what's up? And welcome back to another build tutorial where I'm going to show you how to build this awesome cake bakery in Minecraft. I asked everyone in the community to vote and this cake bakery won. If you enjoy, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. But without wasting any more time, let's jump in to the build. Here are all the materials that you'll need for this build. The plot of land you'll need is 13 by 18 blocks. So first up, I'm just going to grab some oak planks here. And then just starting from this bottom left hand corner here, I'm just going to place one oak plank just there. And I'm just going to go across another 17 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, just there. And then after that, I'm just going to build this up another three blocks. And then moving back to the front, I'm now going to grab some grey terracotta here. And then just from this block here, I'm going to place two just there and then just building this up so it's four high then i'm just going to leave a gap of seven so one two three four five six seven i'm going to place another two great terracotta on the end there and again building that up again so it's four high and then after that i'm going to grab some white wool as well and then from this point i'm just going to leave a gap of two i'm going to place one white wall there again building that up so it's four high and then with some great terracotta from this point, I'm just going to build a wall going all the way across. Just until I meet here, just so we're one block in from the oak wall just there. And then I'm just going to build this wall up so it's four high. And then once that wall hasn't built up, just move into the back. I'm just going to, from this point, place another grey terracotta. Build that across. And then let's build it up again. So we're levelling with the other walls here. So again, just making sure everything is four high in total. Next up, let's grab some calcite here. And with this, I'm just going to fill in this entire area. So just filling in all of the floor. And then just moving back to the front here. And now I'm going to grab some oak doors here. And I'm just going to place two just then. And then after that, I'm just going to add some round stained glass blocks as well. So I'm just going to add four on top just there. And the next up, I'm now going to get some round stained glass panes here. And then I'm just going to place four just going along there. And then just building that up just to fill in this whole window. And then moving around to the back. If I just go up three blocks from this point and then along by four, then on this fifth block, I'm just going to destroy that and then I'm just going to grab an oak trap door. I'm just going to place one on the bottom there. Next up, let's add a sign here as well. So just on this block, I'm just going to place an oak sign there. I'm just going to call it what this is. So automatic cake bakery just there. Just like that. And on top, I'm also going to add a little picture as well of a cake. So if we grab ourselves an item frame, but yes, let's grab ourselves an item frame and let's just place one just there. Let's also grab ourselves a lovely cake as well and just place it inside there. And for that little bit of extra decoration, I've got some oat leaves here. And from this point, just going to place two there and then one on top as well. So now we've pretty much got the main foundations of our build done. We can now get rid of our guide here. So I'm just going to patch that up with some grass blocks. And then with some more oak planks here, from this point, just going to place one. I'm just going to build this going all the way across, just until I'm one block out from the wall here. And then I'm just going to build this going all the way around. Again, just until I'm one block out here as well. Going back around, just building this across to meet up with the wall. And then just building this wall one more higher. And just aligning just there. 
And then I'm just going to fill in this entire area with all of these oak planks. And then moving on to the inside, I'm just going to add a middle wall here to section off some different areas. So I've got some grey terracotta here. And from this point, I'm just going to count nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the tenth block, I'm going to place one of my grey terracotta there. I'm just going to leave a gap or two, place another one. Just going to build that all the way across. And I'm just going to heighten this by two more. And then from this point, just going to build a whole row going across. And next up, before decorating the interior, I'm just going to grab myself some lanterns in. I'm just going to place one just here, just there. And then if we come inside, I'm going to add another four. So just from this block here, I'm going to go across three, then up two. I'm just going to place one just there. And then I'm just going to go across four blocks and then place another one just there. And then just moving around, I'm going to leave a gap of another four, placing another lantern, another gap of four, and then another lantern just there. Next up, if I just grab some spruce wood here, and then just from this point, I'm just going to place four in a row just there. And I'm also going to grab myself some trap doors. I'm just going to place these going all the way around. And then on top, let's add some lovely cake here. Just going to place four cakes. Just there. And then moving back to our trap doors, just on this third block, I'm going to place another four going across there. And then again, another four cakes just there. And that'll just give us a nice little cake window display just there. And then returning to our spruce wood, I'm just going to leave a gap of three just there. And then on the fourth block, I'm just going to place one just there. And I'm just going to go across another six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to leave a gap of two just so we're aligning with this doorway here. I'm just going to add one on the end there as well and then just in between that gap i'm going to add two oak gates just there as well and the next up let's grab ourselves some white carpet and i'm just going to place one just there another one just on the other end there leaving the gap and then place one more carpet just there and in between that gap i'm going to add some stone brick stairs just there as well just for like a nice little hill design there and then just on the end here, I'm going to grab myself some brown stained glass panes. And I'm just going to place four just there as well. And then moving inside the kitchen here with some more spruce wood, I'm just going to place another three blocks just there. And then with some brown stained glass panes, I'm just going to destroy these three blocks and place three inside there. And I'm also going to grab some oak pressure plates as well. I'm going to place another three just on top of this spruce wood just there. And on the end there, I'm now gonna grab some barrels. I'm just gonna place two just there. And then moving along to this wall here as well, with some more barrels, I'm gonna place one just there. And I'm just gonna leave a gap of two, and I'm gonna place another three as well. And in between this gap, I'm gonna add a crafting table. So just two crafting tables in between just there. And then on top of these barrels, I'm also gonna add some more white carpet. Just there and then for a little menu board let's grab ourselves some white wall and then let's just place two just in the middle there and either side i'm going to add some spruce wood just there and then let's grab ourselves some more item frames and also a cake to frame that in so i'm just gonna add two item frames there and then two more cakes as well and then after that let's grab some more oak trap doors here and let's just place four going along here just there and on top of that let's add some more cake let's add another four cakes just there and if you're building this in survival you probably won't be adding the cakes to a later stage probably because we need to actually get the farm working to produce cakes first so once those cakes have been placed just coming back to the front i'm also going to grab myself some red carpet as well along with the white and then just on this block here i'm going to place one red just there i'm just going to alternate it between the white I'm just going to do that five blocks along just there for a nice little rug. And then just to fill in this doorway here, I'm just going to get two oak doors, just place two just there. And on top, just two oak planks just there. And this will lead us to the behind the scenes of where our contraptions will be placed. 
And then in front of these barrels, I'm also going to add some item frames to show what ingredients this farm will produce automatically. So pretty much the purpose of this farm is so you, you always have the ingredients stocked up no matter what. And you don't have to do anything apart from the cows because you do have to milk physically in minecraft sadly there is no automatic way of milking a cow in minecraft which i think would be a cool idea mojang you know if you're seeing this mojang probably very unlikely but if you are i think that'd be a cool idea so let's add ourselves some first let's grab a milk bucket i'm going to place that there because that's where we're gonna obviously get all of our milk from and let's also do all these other ones so let's grab ourselves some ingredients for cakes so let's grab ourselves some wheat gets ourselves an egg and let's also get ourselves some sugar cane as well and then i'm just going to place one egg just there then let's add the sugar cane and let's add some wheat on the end there and then moving to behind the scenes firstly just from this block i'm just going to destroy that one and you should see the back of the barrel there i'm just going to leave a gap of two and then destroy another three and then just behind each of these barrels i'm just going to add one hopper facing inwards just there so next up, I've got some oak planks here. And then just from this point here, I'm just going to build across three blocks. And I'm just going to build these going all the way up to the top, just there. And then I'm just going to build another two going down, just there. And then in this little gap, I'm just going to add an oak door, just there. And now in this little section here, this is going to be the area where our famous cow is going to be, which will supply all the milk. So what I'm going to do here, if I just grab myself some grass blocks I'm just going to make a three by three square patch just there and then i'm going to grab myself some oak fences i'm just going to place three just there and then one on the end and i'm just going to add an oak fence gate just there as well and then just to give the cow you know it's needs so i'm going to add a little water bay here so for that i'm just going to get some oak stairs i'm just going to place one stair just there and then rotating round and place another one just there. And then let's fill this little gap with some water just there as well. And then I'm also going to grab myself a little hay bale here and just place that just there. And with that all done, as you can see, the cow is in there and we can milk it for our unlimited supply of milk. And then what I tend to do is just in this kind of barrel, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill it with loads of buckets just there just so we've got a good supply and then when we want to milk it i've just grabbed some buckets say i milk one bucket there i can just easily dispense it into the hopper and that'll just put it back into the barrel just there and then for some light let's just grab a lantern here and let's just place one just there just to light this area up as well and then if we just come through to this area here i'm just going to destroy all the blocks above this roof for later on and then next up let's start the second part of the building here so i'm just going to grab myself some oak planks and just from this block here i'm just going to build up six blocks so one two three four five six and then i'm just going to build this all the way along until i meet up with just this end here And then once all this has been built up, I'm also going to grab myself some grey terracotta. And then just from this point here, firstly, I'm just going to build all the way across just until I meet just here. So one block away from the end. And just rotating around, just going to build this across. Again, just leaving one block from the end there. Rotating around and then again building this just until it reaches just there. And then I'm just going to build this whole wall up so it's six high in total. And then once that wall has been built up, I'm also going to add a bit of extra decoration here. So I've got some oak leaves. I'm just going to place two just in the corner there. And then I'm also going to add two just coming down as well. And the next up, we're going to add our cake sign here. So I'm just going to grab myself some spruce wood first. And then from just this block here, so two up and four across, I'm just going to place one just there. I'm just going to go across another four blocks just there. Then I'm just going to place one spruce wood just on either end there. And the next up, I'm going to add some stripped oak as well. So we'll grab some of that. I'm just going to place three stripped oak just there. And then I'm also going to place another two just on top as well, just leaving one gap just there. And after that, I'm going to grab myself some 
white wool and also some red and I'm just going to place two white wool just there and then some red on the end and then for the second level I'm going to place one more red just on the end there and then just another four white wool to finish it off and that will give us a cool cake sign just there so next up let's move into the inside where we can start making all of our farms which will give us all the ingredients for our lovely cake so firstly what we're going to need if I grab some more oak planks and then just starting from this point here I'm going to go across another three blocks so one two three and on the fifth block I'm going to place one and then go down another eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight and then just on the left hand side I'm going to place another three blocks as well and then I'm just going to leave a gap of one place another one and then build that across to meet with the wall just there and the next up from this point, I'm just going to leave a gap. I'm going to place one more oak plank just there, leaving another gap and then a two just on the end there. Now, if I just rotate around, I'm going to place another four just in a row just here. So next up, let's grab some hoppers for this farm. And you are going to need quite a lot of these, so you might have to have like a big iron farm for this. But yeah, so let's grab some hoppers. And we're just going to make the system where all the hoppers are kind of... So they're just going to transfer loads of items into these three barrels here, which is the way we can get all of our ingredients. So let's start placing some hoppers. So first up, I'm going to place all the hoppers for our wheat farm. So what I'm going to do, if I just come down here on this first hopper, so the one on the left, I'm just going to place one hopper facing into that one. And then I'm just going to place another five hoppers on top of this one. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then just rotating around, I'm then going to place another two hoppers just going in to this one just there. And then after that, I'm going to place another hopper just there. And then just on the left-hand side, I'm going to place three more hoppers going into this one. Just like this. And then I'm also going to place another one going into it from the other direction as well. And then once that's done, I'm just going to place another five hoppers going into all of these. And then I'm just going to repeat this until I meet the end of the wall. So once that's done, we can now move on to the sugarcane part of the farm. So again, just coming down here, I'm just going to place another hopper going into this middle one this time. Just place that and then just go up another five blocks again. Just there. And then just rotating around, I'm going to place one hopper going into this one just here. And then I'm just going to place another four hoppers going into this one just here. And then just rotating around, I'm going to place another lot of hoppers going into that one. Just until I meet with the end wall. Just there. And that's going to be where all of the sugar cane will be collected. And now finally for the egg farm. So what we're going to do, same process as before. Placing a hopper in there. And then another five hoppers going up just there. And then I'm just going to place one hopper going into this one here. And then I'm going to place one hopper into that one. And rotate it around again. Hop it into here. And then I'm going to place one hopper again into that one. Two from the left hand side. Just like that. And then another nine hoppers going into each other. Just here. And then just moving back to our oak planks here. I'm just going to now build up the walls just to divide all the different sections off. So first up, just from this point, I'm going to place three oak planks just going up there. And I'm just going to build this across another five blocks just until I meet just here and rotating round I'm just going to build up another three just until I meet up to this wall just there and then after that from this point I'm going to place another two and just build that up and then just rotating round place another row of four and then build it up as well and then after that I'm just going to build this section up also just there and then after that, I'm just going to grab myself some brown stained glass here. And then just on this point here, just these two locks, I'm just going to destroy them and replace that with some brown stained glass just there. And then just moving to this wall, I'm going to destroy these three and add some more glass there as well. And then just moving back to our oak planks, just from this level, I'm just going to build across just to level off the floor here. But then just for a way to get up here, 
just at this block just going to destroy that one and that's where we'll place a ladder later on and then i'm just going to place two ladders just there then another two just there and then a final two just on the end there and that way we can access each of the farms if for whatever reason something might go wrong with it and that way we can access that next up let's get on with the wheat section of the farm here so first up i'm just going to grab myself a grass block and just at the back wall here i'm just going to place two rows of five just to start with then i'm just going to place two blocks either side to leave a gap for some water then i'm going to go across another two rows of five and then again two blocks on either side leaving a gap and then just another two rows of five on the end there and, and then in these two gaps i'm just going to get a bucket of water and let's just fill this up with that and on top of that just so the villager doesn't fall in i'm going to get some oak jack doors and let's just place one on top of each just there and the next up i'm going to grab a wooden hoe and i'm just going to hoe all of this farmland now i would use the farmland block but because i didn't add the water it just kept turning back into dirt so i thought this is probably the easier way of doing that so yeah let's just fill up this all this farmland and then once that's done we can now plant some seeds so let's grab some seeds and let's just scatter them all across this farmland let's plant all of them and then just to speed up the process i'm just going to bone meal it I'm just going to do it randomly for now and now all the wheat has been planted i'm going to grab myself a composter and i'm just going to place this just inside this block here so i'm just going to destroy that and replace that with a composter just there so once the composter has been placed we can now add our villager now i don't really know how you'll probably get a villager in here i'm guessing with a minecart on rails or something like that but yeah let's just say the villager's here so if we just spawn the villager in he should become a farmer because the composter is there and that is our wheat farm done so he'll just harvest the wheat and the hoppers should pick up the wheat and it will put it into the barrel below so as you can see he's already harvested something let's quickly check it let's see if it's working so if we come downstairs and let's check the hopper here as you can see we got some wheat and we got some seeds all in there from the farm and then whilst just going inside what we can do if you just want to neaten off this area inside we can just add another two oak planks just there as well so now let's move on to the sugar cane farm so for this let's just grab some more oak planks just here and then just on this point i'm just going to place a whole row of planks just there to start and then i'm just going to extend this all the way across to the end here so i've just got to thicken this ceiling up by one more the only reason i'm doing this is because if we leave it one layer then water will leak through the ceiling so yes yeah, so then after that i'm just going to place another row of oak planks going across just there and the next up i'm going to grab myself some sand here and then just from this point i'm just going to place a whole row of sand going along just there and then in between this gap let's grab a water bucket and let's fill this section up and then moving back to our oak planks from this point i'm going to place another row of oak planks going all the way across just to meet there and then just on top of these oak planks i'm going to grab myself some pistons i'm just going to place these going all the way along just there and then moving back to the oak planks I'm just going to place another row behind these pistons just here. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some observer blocks. Now, what we're going to do with these, just facing this direction here, I'm going to place 10 of these. Just going all the way along. Just here. And then once they've been placed, we can now add some sugar cane. So let's grab some of this and let's just plant this on this sand. And then to get this thing working, let's grab ourselves some redstone. And I'm just going to place 10 redstone behind these observers just to link them together. So this just tests to see if this works. So if I just place one sugar cane just there, as you can see, it's it gets pushed and hopefully the hoppers collect it. So let's just see if it all works fine. So if I go downstairs again, let's just check the sugar cane barrel to make sure everything's working. And as you can see, our sugar cane is here. So now let's move on to the last part of the farm which is the chicken area here so for this i'm going to grab myself some moss carpet here and i'm just going to place this over all these hoppers just here and then next up i'm also going to grab myself some more ladders and i'm going to place three ladders no two ladders just there just so we can get out 
if we need to get into the chicken area just there. I'm also going to do this for the rest of the areas. So again, for the sugarcane area, let's just add one ladder there if we need to access it. And then I'm also just going to place one ladder just here to get out of the farm as well. And then let's add some chickens into this farm here. So let's grab ourselves a chicken spawn egg or as in survival, probably get them up here with a lead. But yeah, let's just add some of these. And then for example, let's just test this out. So if we grab ourselves an egg, put it in there. And let's see if it's collected at the bottom as well. And as you can see, the egg is here. And that means all of our hopper systems are working. And now with all the farm completed, we can now finish the building. So just from this point here, I'm just going to place one oak plank just there. And I'm just going to build this going all the way across. Just until I'm just one block out from this wall just here. And from this point, I'm just going to build all the way across. Again, just until I'm one block out and aligning with this wall just here. And then... Going around again, let's just build this across until I meet just here. And then let's just fill in the rest of this wall just here. And then coming to the inside, I'm going to place some more oak planks just on top of all this terracotta. So I'm just going to do that going all the way around. And then after that, I've got some oak trap doors here. And I'm just going to place... One row just at the front there. And I'm just going to repeat this until I reach the end over there. And then finally, just for a bit of extra light, I've got some lanterns here as well. I'm just going to place a few just underneath here. So if we just come to the second row here, I'm just going to place one lantern on the fourth block there. Another one just there. I'm going to leave a gap or two and place another two just here as well. So let's go and make ourselves a cake. So hopefully we can make ourselves a cake with all the ingredients all ready for us. So let's grab ourselves some wheat. Let's grab ourselves free wheat here. And let's also grab ourselves some sugar cane. So I'm going to need two of them, I think. And then let's also grab ourselves one egg just there. And then I'm also going to need some milk. And oh, we've only got one bucket so far. So let's grab two more buckets. And let's go to our good old friend here. Let's get two of them. And if we were to stock up the whole thing, I'd put them back in the hopper. And as you can see, we've got them ready for when we want to use them. And now let's go after ourselves a lovely cake here. So firstly, let's turn this sugar cane into some sugar. And then let's add all of our wheat on the bottom there. Our milk on top. Our egg in the middle and our two sugar there and that will give us a lovely cake so i hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial and if you did enjoy it i'd really love it if you gave that like button a smash i'd really appreciate that so yeah so this is a new collection of build tutorials that i'm doing don't worry i'm still going to be doing all my normal modern city style stuff but this stuff is just more modern survival style stuff which is just a bit different and can be used in survival as well but yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you another time. Have a good day.